Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Looks it's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Excellent. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Go, Doug, go. There we go. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That's right. Go ahead and be distracted. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Yeah. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Alright, we need to try to distract more of these guys somehow. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. What else we got, Doug? Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Yeah, but I can't do anything else. If I had a brick, maybe I could throw it at the window? <sighs> I can't think of anything else. I mean, I did the TV thing, so... I got nothing else. Awesome. Now can I get now to the brick? distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Alright. Can I reach the brick now, please? Thank <laughs> you. That's what I needed. Alright. Boarded up windows. Lee's brother. Yeah, I figured. I had to throw the brick at it. Hope you're a good sh thrower. Come on, Lee. You got this. Nice. That's what we needed. Now's the time. Alright. Gotta do it. I'm gonna have to kill my own brother. Be careful. Great. Keep an eye out, will you? Gosh. 
better not be alive still. Or undead still. There we go. Can we go back now? Holy crap! Run! Yeah, run, run, run. Don't just stand there, Lee. Go. Go now. Did you just drop the keys? Man, that was close. Oh, you're telling me. But we did it. It's all that matters. Alright, let's go get those keys. I mean, let's go get those pills. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. There not be any zombie things in here. Lisa. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh great. Find those pills now. Cause the noise is just gonna Ugh. Yeah. Oh this is bad. Oh boy, this is not this is the opposite of good. Oh, everyone's gonna go... All of them are gonna go after... Oh. They're all gonna congregate into the drugstore. Great. Great. Doc, come on, give me time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Yeah. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Aww. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know- Oh gosh. <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know- Shit! Oh my gosh, Doug. No. No. Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Keep that door shut. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The cane. The window is The cane. Go. Use the cane. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Shut that door. Oh. I found something! Use it, use it, use it. Come on, come on. Oh, thank you, Dad's cane. No. 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 Oh my gosh. Dugger Carly? Oh gosh. I gotta save Doug. Oh man. I'm sorry, Carly. I'm sorry. Oh. Holy! Let's go! I, I had to go. We I got Carly. Oh. We gotta move. I hate having to choose. Oh, I hate having to choose like that. Oh, that did not feel good at all. Not with this, you son of a bitch. No! What the heck? 
Hey, I got you your pill. Oh my gosh. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Oh, thank you, man. Especially a good friend. Thank you, Kenny. Oh man. I love you so much, Kenny. Get out and get out. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was tough. I had to make a really quick choice. Oh. Oh gosh, I feel horrible for Carly. I mean, she trusted me, and oh gosh, that hurt so much. In that split second, I just went for Doug. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Oh. I felt I felt so terrible for that guys, but I think that's the whole point. I think that's the whole point. You're supposed to feel bad for your decision in this game because neither decision is really a good decision. It was either Carly or Doug. You're right, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. <sighs> okay, I do not like her father at all. I don't know why I got those pills for him. It's because of his pills that the alarm went off and we lost Carly. Find your friends, man. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Dan. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Right. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Yeah. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway. See you around. I'm gonna miss you, Glenn. So, Ace Pizza. Nice. Because Glenn's a pizza delivery guy. Very nice. This is a great... Oh, that bumper sticker was perfect. This is a great game. I definitely want to replay it now just to see what would happen if I chose completely different choices. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Yeah. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Thanks for helping I me I think out. you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I really... F I'm still really, really... I'm still feeling horrible for for Carly. Hey Doug. I had to How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. Yeah. I I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb, but uh... I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you too, man. She liked you too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, what? Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. That's a good question. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. 
But you helped me first. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Aww. Don't don't make me feel worse, man. Doug. Oh, Doug. Don't make me feel worse. Oh. So, so painful. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to you. That super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Yeah. Lee, come here for a second. Oh. Let me go deal with this. Great. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. Oh, gosh, Duck. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I really don't like you. Hey, what? Lee, do you have a second? I really do not like him at all. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, he doesn't seem to that reporter is dead care because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Yeah. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Be continued. Wow. <sighs> Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. Mm. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Hey, it's Doug. Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take you the gun! Oh. There's too many of them! Yeah! No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. Ooh. Starred for help. Wow. I'm pumped, guys. Ooh. Oh, man. Honesty. Lie to Herschel. You and 63% of players were honest. Okay. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and 49% of players chose Duck. Huh. So, 
Duck was slightly less popular than Sean. Interesting. Loyalty. Side with Kenny. You and 51% of the players side with Cla with Larry. Okay. Wait, I didn't side with Larry. I sided with Kenny. Okay, whatever. Um, Mercy. Save Irene. Gave Irene the gun. You and 45% of the players gave her the gun. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and 23% of the players chose Doug. Well, that's okay. I will happily be in the minority for that particular one because it. I mean, as a player, this sounds terrible, but as a player, I actually kind of like Doug more than Carly. I, and that's just me. That's just my personal preference. I actually. Um, I, 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 I liked his character more than than I liked with Carly. Even though Carly did such an awesome, you know, she was so invaluable to us during that one quest. I, I don't know, I'm a bit of a geek. I, I'm a bit of a geek myself. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an engineer. But I'm just trying to figure out why maybe I subconsciously ended up choosing Doug over her. Um, but, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed, though, that this game takes uh, into consideration the choices uh, that you make and the answers that you give in conversations, and it looks like um, it, it, it greatly takes into account um, who's alive and who's dead, because the next episode, you know, had scenes with Doug and it had scenes with Duck and his family, so I'm very curious to find out when I replay this thing... Um, how the game would be like if if Sean was still alive and if Carly was still alive. So, yeah. But um Walking Dead a new day. So that was chapter 1, guys. Um there are still four more chapters left to go. And uh yeah, I think I'm kicking off the my October Halloween LP off to a good start. Um the next time you see another Walking Dead Let's Play, we're going to do Chapter 2. So thank you guys very much for joining me on Chapter 1. And until next time, love yourselves and love each other.